Welcome to Breakin High School News. It is Friday the 5th of November. Good morning. Coming up in this week's bulletin, Mr Bathgate is the first presenter of Thought for the Week. We look at how one group is helping to make our wider community a better place. We'll tell you all about the lunchtime and after school clubs available for you. But first, the news. 2021 is the 100th anniversary of the Poppy Appeal in Scotland. Brecon High School is playing its part by joining with the buildings across the country to light up red. The janitors have been busy fixing red gels to the downlighters around the outside of the school. And from now until November 14th, the front of the school will be bathed in red light. This is just part of Remembrance 2021 at Brecon High School. On Remembrance Day, you can top up your uniform by wearing something red for the price of a donation to Poppy Scotland. Next Friday's bulletin will feature our Remembrance film, which will include readings and showcase people's work on Unsung Heroes. Next week also sees the launch of Anti-Bullying Week. This year's theme is One Kind World. Bullying can have long-lasting effects on mental health. People who experience bullying are more likely to experience mental health issues and those with mental health issues are more likely to be bullied. Our whole school community stands against bullying all year round, but our Anti-Bullying Week is an opportunity to highlight that stance to people, carers and staff. The school is conducting a survey about bike use. Do you have a bike? Would you be interested in using bike if one was provided for free? Share your thoughts by completing the Google form in the Bulletin Classroom. If you are interested in a career in medicine, Dundee University would like to hear from you. Junior pupils can join in the online event Exploring Careers in Healthcare on the afternoon of Saturday, November 20th. Senior pupils can learn about the support available to help them attend Dundee University by asking their mentor or PCS teacher about the REACH programme. Would you be interested in spending a year living and studying in the United States? If so, then check out the opportunities offered by Flag International. You'll find their link in the built-in classroom. Supported study for English and modern languages has started up and is available to all senior pupils. Please check out the supported study timetables throughout the department if you would like some help. Now it is over to Mr Bathgate for Thought for the Week. One of the favourite bits of real around the campus, and it's something I think that we've probably become so used to now we don't really notice it, is the quote tree. And it grows all the way out of the lower ground down in science and all the way right up into uh, almost at the top floor. And the quotes that are on it, were all quotes that were really kind of made up by mentor classes when we were moving from the old building into the new. But one in particular really stands out for me and it's one that I really like and I've always liked really in, in my life and it's from Gandhi and it's be the change that you wish to see in the world. And it's something I think really what it's really saying to us is that if you see something that needs to be done, if there's something you would like to be different, then instead of sitting around waiting for somebody else to do it, just go on there and make it different, change it. And if you think of some big things like environment, well, Greta Thunberg is somebody who is trying to be the change that she wishes to see in the world. But it's much more than that. People who want to tackle poverty, people who really want to see the world being a better place. Instead of just sitting around, they've got up and they've done something and they've tried to make it different. And one of the things really... Just this kind of week in the school that's really bothered me is we've had a couple of fights. And one of the things that I've, I've kind of really seen is that people just stand around and watch. Some folk film it. And they're not really being the change that they would wish to see in the world. Because I think what we really want to see is we want a place to be nice and calm, a place that's safe for all of us. And if you really want that, then you've really got to step up and be the change. If you know something's got this is going to happen, then you warn somebody. Or even if I chat with your mates, tell them not to be so daft, help to kind of get things calm. But be the change that you wish to see in the world. Whether it's something big like Greta Thunberg, or whether it's something here within the school, like just trying to kind of make the place nicer and safer. Be the change that you would like to see in the world. Thank you, Mr Bathgate. Next week we'll hear from Mrs Wilson. Next up, it's This Is Brecon, where we meet the people and organisations that are helping to make Brecon even better. This week, Nathan and Fergus take a look at the work of the Salvation Army. Salvation Army is about saving people and getting their spiritual lives in order. 
We do a tremendous amount of work, social work, spiritual work, and we're in 132 countries at the moment. Salvation Army started off in 1865, William Booth, the founder, and it was called the Christian Mission then. And in 1869, he changed it to the Salvation Army. And it started in the East End of London, outside a pub called the Blind Beggar. And that's where the work started. He was concerned about all those that were drunk, lying in the streets. And he, his family, he got his family involved to help. Well, Salvation Army at, at Brecon at the moment just has a service on a Sunday. Um, because our, our officer died recently. But we still do a good work. Normally we take phone calls in the office when the, the officer's here and uh, we encourage people to come to our meetings on a Sunday. There's no restrictions, no, no barrier to, to worship. And um, I myself and my friend Cole, we're involved in the war cry. We sell the war cry every Friday, whether depending on Montrose. And we do a great deal of work there, speaking to people, and they come and get to know you over the space of time and become your friend, if you like. And so that's the type of work we do. We do a lot of social work. Um, but we're soldiers, in other words, we, we're not full-timers, but we, we still work and help in the Salvation Army. And at the moment, I'm taking the meetings along with Cole most weeks, and Cole's a pianist here at the Nebrechen Corps. First starting the Salvation Army was in Kirkcaldy, my hometown. And I was brought to the Salvation Army by, by my parents. We were Salvationists. And over the years I learned to, an instrument, I learned to play a cornet. And I still do play the cornet. And I learned to play the piano privately. And the, the Lord above used me to play the piano to help others in the core at Kirkcaldy, accompanying the songsters and the sing company. So it's, it's given me a, a, an outlook that I would never have had if I hadn't been involved in the Salvation Army. And so it's part of my life, it becomes part of your life, and every weekend we're on duties, and that's how it's been built up over the years. I think I, my parents were the an influence on me and others as well the way they lived Christian life that they lived it made a big impression on me as a youngster and I was encouraged by people who were older than me to you know not be nurtured in the faith and that's why I'm still here today this week is dyslexia awareness week to help us all understand dyslexia a bit more dyslexia Scotland have shared this short film your brain is amazing, and nobody else has one quite like it. Although everybody's brain looks the same, they all work differently from each other. Just as we all have different colour skin, hair and eyes, we all have a brain that's individual to us. Like a fingerprint, we have different personalities, tastes, strengths and weaknesses. Our brains can even see and understand the world in different ways. One of those ways is called dyslexia, which affects how the brain handles information it sees and hears. Dyslexic people may find it difficult to match letters to sounds and to remember how to spell words. They may even see letters moving around when they're reading. They might have trouble telling left from right. Remembering lots of instructions can be especially hard. They may need more thinking time to remember the right word. Chicken! No, wait. Dog! As well as memorising sequences. It may be difficult for them to hold a pencil and to write by hand. Even organising themselves can be difficult. But everyone with dyslexia is different. It can affect how people feel about themselves. When they struggle with a task that other people find easy, they may feel frustrated, angry or sad. 
Some dyslexic people try to hide their difficulties because they are worried about what others will think of them. However, thinking differently can be a really good thing. A person with dyslexia may be very good at seeing patterns and solving problems, imagining and rotating objects in their heads, telling stories and making people laugh, taking things apart, understanding how they work and figuring out how to put them together again, inventing, drawing, painting and making things, seeing the bigger picture. Dyslexic people can do a lot of things. They just might do them in a different way to how others would, and many of them have even become famous for it. There have been many famous dyslexic inventors, writers, scientists, business people, astronomers, paleontologists, actors, cooks, singers, artists, architects, and so on. Dyslexic people have changed the world. See dyslexia differently. The English department are running a creative writing competition on the theme of remembrance. Entries to be handed in to your English teacher by Tuesday, November 9th. Club Roundup. Lunchtime sports. Monday, netball shooting. Tuesday, table tennis and indoor fives. Thursday, dodgeball and badminton. After school sports. Tuesday, rugby and junior netball. Wednesday, climbing and senior netball. Thursday, indoor football. Friday, girls football and rugby, Strathmore Trust. Library clubs. Monday, comic club and mindfulness coloring. Tuesday, craft club. Wednesday, shape challenge drawing. Thursday, book club. Lego club, Tuesday lunchtime in L7. Creative writing, Wednesday lunchtime in T2. Finally, a message for staff. If you have anything that you would like to have included in the bulletin, please use the Google form which can be found on the staff hub. That's all for this week. Now it's time to hand over to your mentor teacher and this week's work on the United Nations Rights of the Child. We hope that you have enjoyed our first bulletin and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching and stay safe this bonfire night. <laughs>